Welcome back, everybody. It's Jill, your English coach. We've been talking a, a lot um, using the perfect tenses and the perfect progressive tenses. So today we're going to kind of pull more of that in, kind of try it from a different angle, because that's what teaching and learning is all about. We just kind of keep trying new things until hopefully something works and hopefully this works. <laughs> so let's jump in. So we've got five different tenses here, you guys, five of them. So I'm going to give you a minute to just kind of look through these. So what we have here is we've got a series or a collection, I guess, of different tenses that we use in different situations or different scenarios. Okay, so let's kind of, if, you, if you're if you already familiar with all of these, don't worry, this will be a good refresher. And if it looks like a lot because this is new to you, don't worry, we're gonna take it slow and we will, um, We'll go one by one. So we have simple past here. We've got three examples. Then we have present perfect. Present perfect progressive right here. So the progressive or continuous tenses always have the ing form, okay? And the reason that we're doing all of these kind of together is because in many cases, A, they can be confused with each other very often. And um, the, 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 the usage of them is similar. And so it's worth comparing them, you know, to really try to understand when to use simple past, when we use present perfect, and when to use the present perfect progressive tense, okay? So, and then we've got these two others that are past perfect, okay? Past perfect. and past perfect progressive okay so we've got past just simple past happened once and it's done right happened once you're talking about a specific point in time and it's done okay present perfect is also done it happened in the past and it happened for a period of time okay and then we've got present perfect progressive, which means it's not done, okay? So let's just kind of look at these and see if you guys can pick up on or kind of understand the nuances, the small differences between these tenses. So we've got, here are our examples. So in each, with each tense, I have an affirmative, a negative, and a question, okay? So we bought a house. That's past tense. We didn't buy a house. Did you buy a house? Okay. Affirmative, negative, and a question. Okay. In the present perfect tense. So this is referencing something that started in the past and ended in the past. Okay. We have built a house. We've built a house. Okay. We started it. We finished it. It's done, okay? We have built a house. We haven't built a house. So just the negative form of that sentence. Have you built a house? Okay. And then the present perfect progressive tense, we have been building a house. This one means, you guys, that we have been building a house. So it's in the past, this is now, okay? This is now. Something started in the past, we started building, and we're still building it. It's not done, okay? We have been building a house. Normally with a sentence like this, you might say, we have been building a house for two months, okay? Or since March, okay? For, oops, for, let's do for two months. Or you could say since March, okay? We talked about for and since in our 
previous class. So if that's something that is somewhat confusing to you, if you want to add time, a time clause into these sentences, go ahead and watch um, our last class and the class before that, okay? Um, okay, so we have been building a house for two months and this tense means it is not done, okay? We are still building a house now. Okay, we haven't been building a house. So somebody made a mistake and told this person, I've been building a house, but we haven't been building a house, okay? Ha and then the question, have, have you been building a house? Okay. Great, all right, past perfect. So something that, let's see, past perfect. We had bought a house. So you might be talking about something here in the past. Let's say, if I, if I say something like, in 2020, we had just bought a house. Maybe it happened just before it. So if I'm, if I'm here, this is me talking now, this is now, okay? And I'm talking about this point in time. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm talking about when I bought a car. So we bought a car here and we had just bought a house. So maybe you're saying, last year we bought a car and when I went into the bank, the bank didn't want to loan me the money because we had bought a house one year before that. I don't know. So I'm just kind of creating a scenario so that you can kind of understand. So a person says to themselves, I want to buy a car and they go to the bank and the bank says, no, this isn't a good idea because you just bought a house. So if I'm talking about that scenario now in the past, right, I'm talking about it now, but it's a, in a, a situation when I went to the bank that happened in the past, okay, and I'm referencing two points in time in the past. We had bought a house. We hadn't bought a house. Had you bought a house? Okay. And then this for this past perfect progressive, we had been buying a house and then something happened, right? With most progressive tenses, you're kind of talking about something that started and something that uh, continued and then something happened in the middle. So you could say we had been buying a house or we had been working to buy a house and the market crashed, okay? Um, so something was happening and then something happened in the middle, okay? Um, great. We hadn't been buying a house. Had you been buying a house? So this, to me, this scenario is kind of confusing. So um, don't worry about this too much. We're going to look at this together. 